Okay, this video is called Anita Nazario, Spanish Music Best Songs. Anita Nazario is a Puerto Rican singer. She was born in 1955. You know, her, Jennifer Lopez, and there's a lot of other great ones, are two of the best music female singers. It's an easy comparison, though. Um, Nazario's got a wider vocal range, more emotional depth. She's like a real woman in front of you, like when a woman's having a temper tantrum, she's mad at you. Um, Nazario's got a warmer voice. Uh, Lopez sort of had, you know, more money, a little bit better band. Nazario's is very good, too. Um, she's from Puerto Rico, so, you know, I can relate to that a lot. She's, um, as far as her best songs, I would say I had the first couple right here. Tu Sabes Bien, that's a really, like, true love and true sadness about love. Uh, tu Sin Me is sort of a, a young breakup, pissed off. Great songs. Kind of, she looked a lot like my wife. They both did it about that age. That's how my wife used to look. Uh, no Te Mentia. Uh, I wasn't lying to you. That's sort of when things are not going well. Jealous, waiting at home late. The other one's coming home late. Ahora es tardía. Yeah. That one reminds me of like a really sad events in life. You know, one of my friends committed suicide after, uh, and that's a real sad story. That little, that sort of like captures the, those emotions. You know, it's too late to change a situation and it's sad. Sin Carrer, this is a nice song. It's a little bit of a, you know, bubblegum love, but it's still nice, that one. Um, then she's great at, you know, like a woman when she's mad, you know, mad at her boyfriend, and um, she just captures those emotions and that feeling of a woman in your face yelling at you. It's just, like, perfect. Uh, all these songs are kind of the same thing, but they're all great in their own way. These other ones are, what's nice about her too, if you're trying to learn Spanish, she articulates every word. All of her songs are so famous, they've got the, the, the you know, lyrics with them. You can see them in English and Spanish, so it's a great way to learn how to speak Spanish with emotion. Spanish is so emotional, it's far more emotional than English. English has kind of been pussified and wimpified. Spanish is not like that. It's people, they're over the top in their emotions. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. It's actually Spanish is more fun than English, but English is better for describing stuff. It's more precise. You can say what you want to say in much fewer words. So, anyways, um, if you like Spanish music, uh, I think you'll enjoy her. And uh, I like having all these lists. So, like when I'm in the mood for Anita, I can just have all her songs immediately available to me. I don't have to think about them. They're just there.